you are new to trials, you'll be surprised at how well trials bikes cope with rocky ground due to their light weight and very low tyre pressures. The tyres literally wrap around smaller rocks and you won't even notice them. As the rocks get bigger, you'll still find yourself dealing with them easily with a few key techniques. As mentioned in previous videos, keep your legs bent and apart. When your legs are bent, they'll help to soak up the bumps and achieve a smoother ride. When your legs are apart, you're more likely to be able to recover from the bike slipping sideways without putting a foot down. Keep your turns, throttle and clutch control very smooth. Any jerky responses are likely to dislodge rocks and ensure a foot having to go down. New riders often tense up in rocky terrain, but you'll be much smoother and in control as you relax and let your body absorb the bike's movements. Don't let rocky terrain intimidate you. You'll be surprised at what you and your bike can do when you chill out and have a positive mindset. Keep your body positioning towards the rear when possible. This keeps the front light and able to skip from rock to rock and allows an easier recovery if the front wheel is deflected. It also provides extra traction for the rear wheel as it increases the footprint of the rear tyre. Picking the right speed is important. In some cases, extra speed will help to smooth the way over rocks and you may want a higher gear to keep the throttle smooth. At other times, it will be best to take it slowly. Experiment with a higher gear and slipping the clutch when required as this rider is doing. Not being able to clear a rocky section is often due to being in first gear and revving too much. Pick your lines carefully to ensure as smooth a path as possible. Remember to watch the line your rear wheel will take in turns over rocks and to back off the throttle if there's a large rock your rear wheel can't avoid. If you can't avoid a rock tall enough to hit your bash plate, do a small wheelie to clear it. Ideally, you should use your arms and legs for this, not the throttle, so you don't pick up too much speed or dislodge rocks with rear wheel spin. All of these skills become critical if riding on wet rocks, for example along creek beds. The people responsible for laying out sections are a cruel, sadistic mob who enjoy seeing crushed side cases and oil spilling. So learn to ride in rocks as soon as you can. Ready to challenge yourself? As you become comfortable riding through rocks, try increasingly sharp turns. As you learn to wheelie and hop the front and rear wheels, try these techniques on rocky ground as well.